And the Maryland Terps won 71 to 70. Go Terps! It's time now for Sunday brunch, and joining us this morning is Brian Lavin from NoCo. Good morning. Good morning. And this is a new restaurant, relatively, in the yep. last six months yep, in about, Brewers Hill. Yep, exactly. Uh, located on Fleet Street. It's 3734 Fleet Street. Um, we do brunch once a week on Sundays. Uh, starts at 10:30. We usually had about 10 to 12, 10 to 12 items, uh, kind of traditional items, but we put our own a little Italian twist on it. Traditional Italian, mm -hmm. you're a small restaurant, so reservations are definitely needed Yeah, definitely, sure. yep, yep. You can get them on our website at uh, nyokobaltimore.com. Oh, that's um, fun. And you're making yeah. fun French toast this yes. morning. So what we do is mm -hmm. we do French toast with a little twist on it, put our Italian twist. Um, right here we have all the ingredients. So a pretty traditional French toast. So we have uh, eggs, a little heavy cream. Mm. Uh, but what we do is we add a little bit of mascarpone cheese mm -hmm. to it a little bit of orange zest there, and then whenever we get a chance, we throw a little booze in there. So this one, we have a little bit of amaretto, which is a um, Italian liqueur, uh, almond liqueur. Oh yeah, it's yeah. really good. And I'm just gonna tilt this up so yeah. you can see what the bowl looks so this like is what the batter. There. Yeah, this is what the batter looks mm -hmm. like uh, before we cook it. And what type uh, of bread is that? Uh, it's brioche bread. And we get really, really high quality brioche bread. We get it from uh, Cunningham's Bakery that's located in Towson. Mm, that's nice. We get it delivered every single day and they do a really, really great job with the bread there, so. I'm sick, so I'm not gonna touch it. So okay. I'm gonna let you do all the hand okay. work there. So we get a pan nice and hot. Uh, mm -hmm. We got some butter melted in there. So what we'll do is we'll just take this and Throw it right in here. And you really want to dip it good. Too, yeah, yeah. Right? So what we do, we really want it to be kind of custardy. Mm -hmm. So we take the bread and we soak it ahead of time. Um, so that's gonna. Yeah, I know she there. didn't really drain the bread off much. Yeah, the, so the we, we want. Yeah, there. exactly. Mm -hmm. We want it to be nice and custardy. Um, so what we do when that's cooking, mm -hmm. uh, we what we do is we garnish it afterwards with a little bit of crushed hazelnuts, um, some whipped cream, and then our another little Italian spin. We do vin cotto instead of syrup. Ooh. So what vin cotto is, it's a byproduct of making wine. Okay. Um, so they take all the, the, the seeds and the skins and all that and they cook it down. So it's kind of like a grape syrup. Uh, there's no alcohol or anything in it, but it's got like a nice little uh, grapey, nice uh, flavor to and it. And you have a lot of Sunday brunch menu ideas, options, and one of them is the orange marmalade chocolate ricotta donuts. Yes, and those really? are a yeah, pretty, pretty good seller. Um, we do those for dinner, but then we put a little spin adding the orange marmalade for breakfast, um, a little bit of honey on it. It's a really great way to start off your breakfast. It, that um, has to be a favorite already for oh, folks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it sells really, really well. Okay, and then in addition, we would be lax if we did not say that you have a bottomless Prosecco. Yes, so we have Prosecco on tap, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, I think we're the only place in Baltimore that does Prosecco on tap. Uh, so you get a nice big carafe of Prosecco, and we give you a bunch of little different fruit juices. It's kind of like almost build your own mimosa. Um, I love it. And I'm going to have you flip here. your bread yeah, while we see. tell people if you would like a copy of today's recipe, you can find it for free on our WBAL TV mobile app and on our website. The name of your restaurant again? It's Nyoko. Nyoko, and it's located? Uh, 3734 Fleet Street in the uh, Brewers Hill neighborhood of Baltimore. All right. Can